Hey there, this is Lacey with Chickadita Social Media, and I thought I'd take a quick minute to show you Facebook ads audience management. I get a lot of questions about the Facebook audience and how to optimize it for your, uh, for your ad. So I'm already in ads manager and I'm already in a new campaign. This step is purely the new ad set and I want to show you just the audience. So I'm going to skip past my date and scroll down to where it says audience. Now I could use a saved audience if I've been using these audiences in the past, which I have, but today I want to show you a new one. Do not click on this create new on the right hand side. This is a custom audience based on uh, reach people who've already interacted with your business or a lookalike audience based on an audience you've already created. But we want to create something brand new. So just keep scrolling down. And the options are here on the, uh, on the center of the screen. And on the right hand side is a meter to show you if you've got a good selection for your audience or not. So I'm in Paso Robles and I'm, the first thing I'm going to do is make this more targeted to my region. I'm going to close the United States and get rid of it because what I want is Paso Robles right here, include search locations, Paso Robles, California, and it's a city. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Now by default, it's giving me a 25 mile radius, which is a good radius for a local business. I could increase that up to 50 miles if I wanted to and grab an even larger area. So I'm going to use that. My current reach now is 360,000 people. I can check again on this meter on the right hand side. But so far, I haven't done anything to identify my audience specifically. So the next option I have is age. I can change my age to if I know I'm trying to target someone older or someone younger, or I can just target everyone with the 18 to 65 demographic. But I'm going to go ahead and change it just to show you how. Open it up, and let's say 35 and over. I could also cap it. If I wanted to say 35 to 50, I can do that. Genders are optional. You can select all genders or male or female. Sometimes with a specific ad, you may know that women are the most frequent buyer of your product. So you may want to target just women. So again, just click on it to edit, select women, and move on down the list. So now I have detailed targeting. This is where it starts to get fun. All demographics, interests, and behaviors. So I'm going to edit this. And I'm going to look for adding demographics based on interests or behaviors. So I could say something like people who like coach. And it's going to come up with coach job titles, coach employers, fields of study, interest, baseball, body, right? But maybe I mean a certain brand or I want to select something more specific. So I might say coach purses. And that's going to pull me up here to coach Inc. as an interest. Now, it says there's 787,000 people who are interested in coach, but if I click on it, it's going to tell me just in my area. So now it's put my meter over in the red. This is too specific. Now, I work with a lot of uh, medical professionals, and so sometimes we will use things like designer luxury brands to help pull in a certain demographic. If I want to do it more straightforward, I'm going to get rid of coach. I could say something like homeowner and it's going to pull up homeowner, homeowners association, homeowners in the United States. I can just grab homeowner and it's going to tell me now my potential reach is fewer than a thousand people. I'm in a 50 mile radius of my area. This is probably not entirely accurate, but it's pulling homeowners as an interest. And I'm looking for actual home ownership. So I can grab that one too. And that's going to update my numbers a little bit. So homeowners isn't necessarily a big enough demographic. So I can try something like home. I have home or home improvement. I'm just going to grab home. And now that's brought my estimated reach up to 31,000 people. So that's a good range of people for my ad. I could further this down even more by using the exclude feature. So now it's got homeowners and people who are interested in homes. But I could say I want to narrow this audience further. This is going to use the AND clause. Right now, these are all OR. They are interested in home or interested in homeowner or interested in homeownership in the United States. If I want to narrow this down to homeowners who have a very specific interest, I could narrow this audience. 
and this is going to be and. So I might want to do something like income. And there are going to be household income options. So I'm going to say I want the top 25 to 50% of household incomes in my area. That's a demographic. And that's what I was looking for with the home ownership, is there's also a home ownership demographic. It just wasn't popping up for me today. So I'm going to grab this household income. And that's going to change my reach from 31,000 to 4,000. But this is more targeted for something I'm specifically selling, and I may know exactly what I want my demographic to be. Now, with that narrowing, I can also exclude. So if I click on exclude, I can add demographics here, and I could say something like rents. But that's going to give me all kinds of different options. But let's say uh, renting as an interest. I want to exclude people who are renting because I'm really interested in those homeowners. My potential reach now is 3,300. Now I can continue to tweak this until I get something exactly what I want to hit the absolute best uh, audience members for my unique selling position. But this I wanted to show you real quick was just a way that you can customize and mess with your audiences in Facebook Ads Manager. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.